Hi and welcome to another Cheeky Girl Creations DIY video. So today I will be creating in this mini journal. Uh, this journal is made from paper towels that I like stuck together and then I use that to create the cover and the pages and just um, a simple binding in the middle if we can get to it so um, I created this page not too long ago and I will link in an i card in the top right hand corner so you can watch this video if you like so I'm thinking of maybe doing like a double spread um, that might be kind of cool and I just put um, some Viridian paint on the pages that was just left over from a previous um, project so I didn't want to waste the paint so I just kind of smushed it on there so um, I don't really have a plan I think I'll kind of stick to the colors that's in here maybe put on some like acrylic paint or something um, yes yeah, so I shall put this into fast forward mode I will have a voiceover so you know what I'm talking about so let's get on with the video so I'm going to start by applying some Viridian with a palette knife and um, when I do that you can see the paint really just sits on the page just because it's um, so full of texture I'm not able to blend that in very well so I'm going to um, use my fingers to blend in that purple and that blue um, that I'll add just in a second. I if I was going for that look with the palette knife, then I would have stuck with that, but I was going for a more blended look. So um, I'm going to add some chalk primer now just to blend everything together and kind of tone down those colours, make everything just work together a bit more and brighten up that page. And again, you can see I use my fingers for that. And I'm going to add some red in, rubbing over the page quite lightly because I did want to um, cap some of that yummy texture. And I'll also add some chalk primer just to kind of tone that down a bit because I felt as if the red was being a little bit overpowering and um, I'll also add just a little bit of extra chalk primer just to kind of brighten things up a little bit I didn't want the background to look too dark and then once I did that I'm going to try to figure out um, what my focal image was would look like um, so I'm using those like cutouts that you just saw that was um, I stamped on some book paper and embossed the image with some clear embossing powder then I went over it with some kind of water soluble medium um, and I wasn't feeling it too much but I was really feeling these strips so I'm using denim yarn jersey yarn and book paper strips and I was really liking that and I will link to the video where I made those um, that jersey yarn so you can see how to make it if you're interested. And I was really liking how that was looking. Still not too sure about those um, like stamp images, but I thought I would just stick with the strips and maybe I'll get another focal image. So I'm cutting some of those strips down in half just because they just seem a bit thick and as if they would um, take up too much of the page. And I'm going to leave the book paper strips and the denim the same size, but definitely cut down that jersey yarn because it's very chunky. And once I've figured out how I want that, I'll um, stick that down with tacky glue. I've been using tacky glue mostly to stick everything down just because um, the page is so textured. And especially if I'm using fabrics, um, tacky glue is a great adhesive for um, fabrics, especially when I'm sticking it on paper. So I'll use that for most of it. And you can see I'm still um, figuring out like the order I want the strips to be in. So I'm doing like um, yarn, um, book strip, yarn, book strip, just to add a little bit of interest. Okay, so um, I found those images in this encyclopedia slash dictionary book. Um, and that's where I've been getting most of my images from. It's an awesome book. Um, so and I also wrote on some scrap plain book paper a couple phrases and you can see I stuck everything down again using tacky glue and I'm going to go around the page and over the page with, with this stays on ink pad it dries um, permanent which is brilliant for art journaling and I'm just using that to pick up all that texture and um, I was really liking the page now just kind of added a kind of grungy feel to it especially since I was using those like black and white photos 
And just to brighten things up a little bit so it doesn't look too dark, I'm going in with a palette knife and some chalk primer. And that also helps to catch some of that texture. And that's when I was really liking the page. And I didn't show you cutting me cutting everything and writing everything out. Oh, and I teared around the images. I didn't cut around. I didn't want a hard edge on those images. Um, just because, you know, it, it's a bit tedious and it was a bit um, a fiddly and I didn't want to bore you guys with that. And I'm also going to go in with some orange. There's some orange in some of those yarns. So I thought I would pick up some of that color and go over again with a palette knife just to add like a pop. So um, the focal images I chose was a coral and a fish. And that was just perfect because it was starting to look like an underwater um, page. And I'm going to go around the edges of those images and um, phrases with some spray inks. I'm using blue. Um purple and some green and that just helps um to kind of get rid of some of that starkness from the book paper especially I wanted it to stand out from what I put it on um it also makes it look as if it's part of the page I don't want it to look like I just stuck a piece of paper down I want it to look like it's part of the page and that helped a lot I'm just kind of dabbing the color as well I'm not being very specific um, I just wanted to be quite random, but I, I did not want it to get too much into the image, so I was careful about that. Now I'm going to use tacky glue to stick down the images and the phrases, um, again, just because it's a nice strong glue. And um, those phrases, I did just keep swimming on the left page and under the sea on the right page, and I really like that. I just thought it was nice and fun, and it just really added to the page. So now I'm going to outline those phrases and the images and those strips of book paper, um, with my Sharpie pen and I'm doing that quite messily so it has a really nice kind of sketchy feel and um, that just helped everything pop a little bit more and stand out and then I'm going to go in with my Uniball Signal pen to add some highlights and I'll also add some um, bubbles around the page using the, the um, gel pen. I thought that just would add the perfect touch since it's supposed to be an underwater scene and then afterwards I will add some splashes using a silver calligraphy ink and a black calligraphy ink quite fine splashes and you'll see those in the photos at the end so um thanks for watching just want to remind you that i'm out of the country and if you want to find out when i get back please do subscribe to my newsletter all that's linked down below um don't forget to subscribe to my channel give me video a thumbs up if you enjoyed don't forget to click that bell so you get notified whenever i upload a new video um and if you get inspired by any of my videos, please do share on my Facebook group, tag me on Instagram. I would love to see you guys' creations. Um, and yeah, oh, and all those links are down below just in case you're wondering. So thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and please join me again for another RT video. Bye.